Hey, what's up guys? It's Tech Sumer, talking to you here. And today, I have something cool to show you. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is here. So, in today's video, my job will be to unbox this iPhone and to show you its cool new hardware and of course, my first impressions on it. I own, if you don't know, an iPhone 13 Pro Max, but I do not plan to upgrade for this phone. This is a mere review unit, so I will review it, do some camera comparisons against my iPhone 13 Pro Max, and also the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which I actually also own. And if you are excited for that, do not forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for, to, so you don't miss all of those videos. But in today's video, it's a mere unboxing video, a mere first impressions, and maybe during the weekend, I will release a more complete and more insight video on this iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, no further ado. Let's get started and unbox this iPhone, shall we? So, guys, we are here and we have the box for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, let's start the unboxing. Kind of make a little force here and there. They have some stickers, but I don't think I will need to do any more force. Here's the iPhone. There it goes the box, and here we have how beauty, how good does it look? I mean, it's one of the best, not best looking iPhone displays ever. Look at it, it's so, so beautiful, so, so cool. Second tab, sorry for that, put them down, open the box, and here we have the iPhone for the first time being opened. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max in space black with one terabyte of storage. And at the first glance and the first impressions, it just feels like my iPhone 13 Pro Max with a little bit bigger cameras. It's weird. But you can notice they are bigger. If you look at the side, the new space color looks very much like the iPhone 12 Pro Max's space gray. But in my opinion, it's not nearly as beautiful as my iPhone 13 Pro Max's Sierra Blue. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about this space black iPhone 14 Pro Max. In my opinion, it's very beautiful. I like it a lot, but I think they could have done better with their colors on the Pro side this year. So here it is, the iPhone 14 Pro Max all set up. And as you can see there, that's the always on display, displaying the timer. So you can see your notifications, your ongoing things that are happening at the moment. And this is the always on display. I know it looks pretty bright to be an always on display. I, it was my first thought too, but if I tap the display, then you can see that it lights up and it's pretty, pretty cool. As you saw, this is the space gray iPhone 14 Pro Max. Not the space gray, sorry, <laughs> the space black, it's blacker. One thing that I have to point out now is that the, the, the thing, the glass at the back looks less slippery and feels less slippery. Also, the iPhone feels lighter. I don't know why, but it does. One thing that also I noticed on the iPhone is the bezels are smaller, yes, but you probably don't notice it that much when compared to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's not a big upgrade. The cameras though, they really bulged out this time. Now let's enter the iPhone 14 Pro Max and show you the newest features. Because as you can see there, the dynamic island just turned up. You can see the timer there, it's already on. If I touch it, it opens the timer. If I cancel it, it falls out, then no timer. Dynamic island just works. Look at this, looks so, so refined. Let's open the settings, the app, scroll down, and there you can see the Nampic Island looking cool. If the screen is all black, like there, you can probably see nothing, and it looks like the iPhone doesn't have any type of notch. If I leave the app and then open a new timer again, you will see that if I open the timer 15 minutes and then leave the app, you will g get the timer there on a very smooth animation. But what happens if you wanna, I don't know, listen to music, put a timer, and see both on the dynamic island. Well, pretty easy. Just open music app. You just put, pull up a music. I don't know, some tone type of song, no song. And then you just pull out. And as you can see, you have both. Both of the notifications are up top. And then if you click the timer, it will take you to the timer. You leave the timer, click the music app. It will take you to the music app. And as you can see, this looks more like a taskbar than anything else. And it's that's why one of the reasons it's pretty, pretty cool works amazingly well and if you go and you close up both things then the timer will be the only one left one thing also that is noticeable and it's worth point out is if you go to the camera app now you have four focal lenses as you can see 0.5 1 2 and 3 
the 0 0.5 is the ultra wide camera, which has been a lot of improvement. I think it's two times in low light and it's better in my opinion, just by looking at it, it looks better. Then you have the main camera, which is now 48 megapixels, a big, big jump from the older 12 megapixel in the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Then you have the two times camera, which is one, is actually not optical, but a cropped image of the 48 megapixel sensor into a 12 megapixel sensor, but it's still considered optical quality. And then you have the three times telephoto. So in total, you have a two times focal length where can compare it to the iPhone 13 Pro Max only three times. This is amazing. One thing also is on video. By looking at it, I don't see any type of difference. I will try to make some video comparisons and camera comparisons video. It looks sharper, yes, better light, maybe, but the biggest changes come to the action mode. Now, this action mode stabilizes your video. It crops in a little bit. It, it's only 2.8K, I think. Yeah, it's only 2.8K, but I think it works well. I will try to make some character comparisons videos and there you will see all of the difference between these and the older iPhone 13 Pro Max and even the iPhone 12 Pro Max and iPhone 11 Pro Max. But another change that came to the camera app is on cinematic mode. Now you can use your cinematic mode at 4K 30. Before you could only do it at 1080p 30 frames per second. Now you can upscale it to 4K 30 frames per second. And this is one of the best things to ever come to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I think that's it. I think that all of the changes for the iPhone 14 Pro Max are minor if you own an iPhone 13 Pro Max, but if you don't, then I think it's one of the biggest changes in a while. The dynamic island is amazing. It's an amazing feature to have. If you have the newer notches from the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you will probably not feel it much, but I have to say that it's a very good implementation of the dynamic island. Works well. The timer here is still working. Let me pause it and leave the app and you can see the timer is still there. I have to cancel it. Timer, cancel leave the app no more. So you have their dynamic island. I think it's one of the best innovation features on iPhone in a while. But the camera, I will try to review it on the uh, next camera comparison between these and of course my iPhone 13 Pro Max, 12 Pro Max and 11 Pro Max. So if you are excited for those types of videos and comparisons, do not forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications bell so you get notified when those videos come out. And of course, this has been Texumer talking to you here 